currently on the way to Wilmslow for a rehab day. Um, we're going to have like two hours of physio and then a session with Darren, who's my SNC coach, who is pretty brutal. Um, and we're still aching from Monday's session, and it's now Thursday. So, you know, sure, it's going to go really well. Five weeks ago, I had knee surgery, which was really similar to the knee surgery that I had in December. Um, so, just kind of like tidying up some of the cartilage. This is Leah, by the way. I'm not introduced Leah yet. Hi. Leah's my breakfast. coach. Who makes everything work. And we didn't see each other for a really long time during lockdown. <laughs> and now we can train together again. So, Leah's been coming over to rehab sessions at Harrison Ross and then training as well and we're both kind of waking up to the world of training again which is pretty brutal um, so yeah I'm doing all the rehab for my knee surgery but I also had wrist surgery four weeks ago as well so a week after my knee um, which was just like a little niggle in my wrist that made sense to get sore in whilst I was rehabbing my knee anyway so yeah it's kind of like double rehab sessions and I've dragged my nephew Nathan along with us today Hello. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. So at the moment, uh, you can just see there's two little scars, one there and one there. Um, so that's from Shauna's operation where the surgeon has gone in through these tiny little operation portals to put his um, instruments into the joint to do the operation and unfortunately we're left with these tiny bits of scar tissue um, and on top they look very small but underneath it's like an iceberg underneath there's a lot more tissue scar tissue than you can see on top so um, we have to break that down because otherwise that can become a real issue in the joint and can create pain and, and some restriction so this is sort of uh, it's a very simple brutal technique of frictioning mm. the scars and effectively we're rubbing, we're trying to break that scar tissue up and make the um, make that scar as small as possible. It's the most unpleasant feeling. It's the worst bit about having an operation. And, and I guess unfortunately for Shauna she's had a knee and a wrist so she has scar tissue for her knee and scar tissue for her wrist that we have to work through. Oh that's the bit that In the, in the forearm, uh, then down into the hand and the, and the wrist, all the muscles come from this common origin here, and then they track down the arm into the, into the fingers, and effectively they perform that extension movement, but they're all very tight at the moment, so that means they can't function properly, um, and will also create some tension and discomfort around here and restrict range as well, so, um, so we're trying to loosen these muscles off, take the tension out of them, so that effectively they can work better and the wrist and hand will work more effectively too. Sure. Muscles get tight and strong. How? That's why you don't keep loosening those off, then they start, unfortunately become more vulnerable to injury. And it's a performance issue too, if the things are too tight it's hard to keep performing. Sore from Monday. Yeah, and then Tuesday. And Tuesday. <laughs> um, I feel a bit sleepy because I've been lying down, but a bit pain, painy as well. I now feel reluctant about what's to come. Ugh. So now I'll go into the gym with Jeff and do like physio rehab work for my knee mainly and maybe a bit of wrist stuff as well. Um, and then straight after that is Darren, which is S and C, so strength and conditioning work. I mean, right now I need a wee and then gym after that. So wee first. That's what's next. Yeah. So the, the idea here, we're just trying to get. Um, I mean, this is partly part of the warm-up, but also we're trying to just get some strength into the leg. The, the leg press is a great machine for getting uh, strength right through the whole leg. Um, so we're working, you'll notice we're working quite a short 
range here. So we're trying to um, make sure that it's glute and her a muscle called her VMO and her quad work specifically. Um, and working really hard on controlling the movement um, as much as we can. So we'll start here and then we'll start to work our way through, through the exercises and increase load as we go. But, but on here particularly, we've started with two legs, now we're on one, and then we'll just keep cranking the weight up from here now. Making, uh, getting you getting tired. <laughs> My name's Darren, I look after the strength and conditioning and a lot of the sports medicine for a lot of the athletes. Today is a little bit of an everything session. Um, Sean has obviously had a couple of surgeries so we're just getting back into things and it literally is that getting back into it. So at the moment they're just getting a bit of a warm up, getting themselves moving, getting the shoulders and back warmed up and also getting the trunk going as well. And it's a little bit of a laugh and they're all speaking to each other and you know, working together. And then even though it's a going, uh, getting back into it session, it's going to be fairly horrendous because at the end of the day, you know, Sean is a professional athlete, so she needs to be challenged. And as much as it's a little bit of everything, it's also a lot of hideousness. So, and part of that is I don't tell them what they're doing. So, who knows? Is this an hour? Is it an hour and a half? Is it four or five minutes? Who knows? And who knows what we're doing? Well, I know, obviously, but they don't. So. I love these mm. sessions. No, I mean it's like, yeah, enjoyment. I don't enjoy them. No, that's not the right word. I feel like satisfied afterwards in a sense that, like, you know, you've worked hard, and then like the next day you feel trashed, and then the day after that you feel even more trashed, and then the day after that we're usually back in. So, yeah, it's life right now. Darren's pretty harsh. It's kind of savage. But you know, that's what you want in an SNC coach, maybe? I don't know. Like, if I'm doing sessions with Darren, not him, I definitely get real strong. That's what I'm here for. So, don't do it every single session I don't do it with every single athlete but there's always a massive element of um, unknown in every session I do with them regardless of the sport because ultimately that's the sport if everything's programmed to the T and they know exactly what's going on then um, you get a, 
a much more different emotional response to the session than if you don't know what's happening. And that's, that's competition, you don't know what's happening. So I always try and incorporate that into the training process, that element of uncertainty. Going in the opposite direction around the circle. It's a plan. Get into your plan. Get into your plan.
Um, so basically come in, get fixed, train really hard and then get fixed again. And this is like, get fixed. Because we just work really hard and then all your muscles get super tight and worked. Then they need releasing and fixing up so we can do it all again. Yeah. Smiley face. I think people think it's um pen, but I actually got a smiley face tattoo on my scars from my surgery. Oh dear. I think I'm funny. That was really unpleasant. It definitely needed it. I thought it did. Oh. Oh, I'm done. I'm gonna go home and get ice cream on the way home, and then I'll be happy. This has been an insight into what I get up to on a rehab day at Harrison Ross. So yeah, we've had a long, hard day, but it's been good. And yeah, I feel like walk in here and you feel good, and then you walk out and you feel absolutely trashed and battered, but in a good way. If that makes sense to anybody. Makes sense to me. I don't know. I'm tired. <laughs>